Edifier G1000s, coming in at a price tag of $59.89. If at any point during the video you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below. Now firstly, and most importantly, the sound quality. The G1000s are extremely impressive for the size. The tweeters do an absolutely excellent job of doing higher frequencies. Trebles are incredibly crisp and clear, something that is definitely hard to find on a very budget speaker. But as you would expect, only being two tweeters, there's basically no bass at all. So do not expect bass from the G1000s. They definitely get more than loud enough for a sitting desk experience, but they will not get incredibly loud if you're trying to listen to them in your room rather than just sitting at your desk. Sound quality in game is surprisingly good. The speakers are really crisp and clear, so the directional sound with these speakers is pretty much as good as you're going to get under $100. Even without bass, gameplay sounds really, really good. Again, due to being able to hear all of those little noises very crisp and clearly. This is a very bright profile for these speakers for sure. As for inputs, this either uses USB type A or a 3.5 millimeter cable, and those are like fully connected. You cannot disconnect them. Now as for build quality, these have a nice brushed metal on the speaker a glossy front with some integrated RGB with a great overall size to fit on even the smallest desks. And that is a definitely a big factor. If you do have a much smaller desk, you don't wanna have your speakers taking up a lot of desk space. These are very, very small. Now, the only thing that I don't like about these speakers is that they have non-detachable cables, which do limit the maximum sitting width of these speakers. That being said, it is still pretty good at 52 inches speaker to speaker. So in most situations, that's going to fit you perfectly, but there it is. Now, as for controls on the cable itself, you have a volume wheel, a button to switch the RGB color, and a button to toggle between different modes. So pretty basic controls there, nothing special, but you get what you pay for. Overall, if you want some small tweeters that aren't great for listening to music due to the lack of bass, but perform fantastic in game, these are a great pickup for only around 60 bucks. Again, if you want to check out these exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you want to check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.